Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're delving into a topic that's often surrounded by questions, opinions and sometimes confusion. That is complementary and alternative treatments for breast cancer. Do they work? Should you try them? Or do they cause more harm than good? Hi, my name is Dr. Tasha, here to help you navigate the world of health in general and breast health specifically. When faced with a breast cancer diagnosis, it's natural to explore every avenue for treatment and support. Complementary and alternative therapies have garnered attention as potential options. But what exactly do these terms mean? Well, they refer to two very different concepts. The NIH, which is the National Institutes for Health in America, describe them as if a non-mainstream approach is used together with conventional medicine, it is considered complementary. If a non-mainstream approach is used in place of conventional medicine, it is considered alternative. So let's first talk about complementary health approaches. They can include practices like acupuncture, yoga, massage therapy, mindfulness, or even dietary changes. These therapies are used alongside standard medical treatments to enhance well-being and manage symptoms. Complementary treatments can provide comfort, alleviate side effects and improve quality of life during cancer treatment. First up, we have acupuncture. This ancient Chinese practice involves inserting thin needles into specific points on the body to alleviate pain and promote relaxation. Several studies suggest that acupuncture may help manage chemotherapy-induced nausea, pain and fatigue in breast cancer patients. Yoga is another popular complementary therapy. It combines physical postures, breathing exercises, and meditation to improve flexibility, reduce stress, and enhance overall well being. And research indicates that yoga may reduce fatigue, improve sleep quality, and alleviate psychological distress in breast cancer patients undergoing treatment. Meditation is another approach that research has shown to be helpful. It may help reduce blood pressure as well as symptoms of anxiety and depression. And there are also other different approaches such as Tai Chi, art therapy, music, as well as dance therapy. And the amount of research on these approaches varies widely depending on the practice. Researchers have done many studies on acupuncture, yoga, spinal manipulation and meditation for example, but there have been fewer studies on some of the other approaches. While these complementary therapies offer benefits, they should complement, not replace, standard medical care. It's essential to integrate them into a comprehensive cancer care plan developed in collaboration with healthcare professionals. Now, what about alternative treatments? Well, some people use alternative treatments in place of conventional medical treatments. And these can range from herbal supplements to specialized diets or even declining the conventional options, including surgery or chemotherapy altogether. While some alternative therapies may offer temporary relief or a sense of control, they can also pose risks. Without scientific evidence to support their efficacy, patients may forego potentially life-saving treatments. Let's talk about some of them. First, let's discuss herbal remedies. Many herbs and botanical supplements are marketed as natural alternatives for cancer treatment, claiming to shrink tumors or boost the immune system. However, scientific evidence supporting the efficacy of herbal remedies in treating breast cancer is limited. In fact, some herbs may interact with conventional cancer treatments or have adverse effects on health. Dietary changes are also commonly promoted as alternative treatments for breast cancer. Advocates claim that certain diets such as the ketogenic diet or vegan diet can prevent cancer growth or improve treatment outcomes. While a healthy diet is important for overall well-being, there's insufficient scientific evidence to support the use of specific diets as a standalone treatment or standalone treatments for breast cancer. Energy healing practices such as Reiki and crystal therapy involve manipulating the body's energy fields to promote healing and balance. And despite anecdotal reports of benefits, rigorous scientific studies on the efficacy of these practices for breast cancer are lacking. While some alternative therapies may offer temporary relief, 
or a sense of control. They should not replace evidence-based medical care. When facing a breast cancer diagnosis, understanding the spectrum of treatment options is essential. Conventional treatments remain the cornerstone of breast cancer care, supported by rigorous scientific research and expert recommendations. I hope this is helpful. I'll see you in the next one.